Hello and welcome to the Counterpoint Podcast. Eyes, lungs, pancreas, many snacks, a little time. I'm Brendan, here with Luke. Gotta go fast. And Jonathan. I am also a loser from my world. Why'd you say gotta go fast? I like Sonic. Anyway, we're talking about Venom this week. Um, it was my pick. <clears throat> Mostly because I hadn't seen it. And I was like, I, I kind of want to see Let There Be Carnage, so fuck it. Here we go. So before we get into it, as always, Gordon Sweet, what did you think? I feel like if this movie came out in 2008, it would have gotten really good press. John. Uh, it was pretty boring, but then there were moments that were pretty funny, but not for the right reasons. But it was overall okay. Um. Yeah, I I think this movie is like wholly inaccurate to Venom, um, <laughs> and would have been better served like not being a Venom movie. And just being its own thing. However, in that case, Sony would have to give up the rights to no, it, like don't it make it not. Oh, oh, you're saying they did it keep the Venom rights? Yeah, I I feel like part of the reason why they did it was to keep Venom as like. Is owned there by are there Sony. rights individual by character though? Because they just made a Spider-Man. I movie. think so. I think so. I know I Spider Man think... and Fantastic Four were like that. I'm not sure. I, 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 I thought really Spider Man came part and parcel with certain. his characters. Maybe I'm wrong. I th well, I'm they... pretty sure when this movie came out, a lot of the discourse about it was what Luke said, where there was like, it was like they made the movie because they wanted to keep the rights for Venom. So everybody was like, oh, it's going to be a little bit of a stinker. Yeah. So people's expectations were already kind of like on the rocks to begin with. I didn't think it was terrible though. It's not like anything that happened. I was like, "This is fucking." No, I think it was fine. It and I know it's. It wasn't yeah, offensive, but it was really not like. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it was fine, but it absolutely and, was not. Yeah. Um, have you guys seen? Yeah. It's from twenty seventeen. Uh, a movie called Life. Uh, I've seen an little snippet of it like a trailer of it i think What's but i got about? the gist basically venom yeah <laughs> there's so it's not confirmed that life was their spec script for venom however the people who worked on life did have a spec script for venom um and then life is it, it's about this dupe monster that absorbs things to like get stronger it, like it's it's not like a clear one to one venom thing. Like it, it clearly went in a different direction, but it's like it's enough that you're like, this could have been their venom script. They changed up. Could it have <laughs> been like a side story as similar to uh, Prometheus with Alien? Maybe. I mean, the movie as it is, not really. Like they don't really follow the symbiote. Although this movie doesn't really follow the symbiote's powers. Like, I don't yeah. recall, I mean, I haven't read, like, every iteration, but I don't recall the them having, like, ridiculous healing powers. Well, I know there are healing powers, but not mm -hmm. to that degree, yeah. I felt like, that, that was actually one of the things I didn't like about the movie, is the fact that uh, the powers felt like they were just... Like, there weren't any rules. It wasn't, like, ironclad and, like, yeah, you can heal instantly or you can get knocked on your ass. Like Yeah, it's it's a crazy thing that, like, for Venom to have a movie without Spider-Man existing because that's... I mean, literally everything about Venom comes from Spider-Man. His powers and his personality all come from being Spider-Man's suit for a prolonged period of time and just gaining information from him yeah and see the thing is for me when i was watching uh 
this movie i thought because they mention how he gets kicked like he got let out of new york i thought that he had already been to new york and already was venom oh you think that's why he got kicked out so i was a bit confused oh yeah so i watched this with my fiance and i was like in this universe like because the reason eddie brock is is always so sour in the comics is uh Peter Parker sort of steals his thunder at the almost the Daily Globe, that's super uh Daily Bugle. <clears throat> um mm-hmm. because obviously Peter Parker's Spider Man, so he gets the best pictures and is the golden boy. Mm-hmm. Uh so I was like, in this universe, is this like beat to shit forty something year old man upset at a seventeen year old and that's why he left New York? He could yeah, I thought it was like years after. Like maybe he was in New York like ten years ago, and so he was like thirty sour at like an eighteen year old. Um, but it's just weird for this movie to exist without Spider Man. The only thing Venom doesn't get from Spider Man is his name, and this movie apparently he was just born with his name. Um, not how it happens. Eddie Brock. At the same time, I don't really care about that. Like, I don't care if a movie decides to, like, completely diverge from... I don't care if they diverge on uh, some things. Like, like so Ven- Venom having his own name. But, like, they... Like, changing the power set and... Like... I mean, the point of the character is to play off of Spider-Man. So this character to exist without Spider-Man is, is crazy. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think it's that <laughs> insane. I mean, you have Joker, and it worked without Batman, right? But like, Joker's origin isn't Batman. Yeah, but his whole point is to that be becomes like, his point. Love villain, yes. but Venom, like literally, his power set and his personality comes from Peter Parker. Hmm. I didn't feel like his personality in this was like Peter Parker. No, of course it wasn't, because Peter Parker isn't in this movie, and this isn't Venom. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, like, even <clears throat> even then, the character is nothing like, like, other than kind of like a vaguely Spider-Man. Right, you're I mean, you're literally proving my point right now that this isn't Venom. I mean, it it can be Venom. It just doesn't have to. It's like Death Note, right? Like, a lot of people got mad at Death Note because obviously it doesn't follow the anime, even though the anime doesn't always follow, you know, the manga. I I don't think... Like, it's... it's... Like, they they changed an established character. Yeah. That doesn't doesn't make me super mad, though. Yeah, I know some people get upset about it, but to me it's just like, like, if they were to completely do... I think Go this ahead, movie's Jim. problems weren't that. Oh no, Venom this movie has other Venom. problems. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, does. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bigger issue is that like it was boring, and then also, um, I mean, I guess I see where you're coming from. Is like you can make a riff movie where the core character is the same, but it's more of like a what if scenario. But they it, this didn't seem like that. Um, because it also seemed like they were using the good graces of people already kind of knew venom like it didn't like take its time to establish what like you said the rules were never hard set of like what it could do why it could do it or whatever it was just like okay you have to accept it and like if you know the comics you're like well this is kind of in line with what he does a little bit it's not really at all but yeah i mean like it doesn't bother me and i i think the fact that it doesn't at all for me is better than if it like kind of did I, I think it just it, it's just worse for me. Like so, like take Mister Freeze. Let's talk about another Batman villain. What if like they came out with a movie and instead of his nice backstory of like him uh, trying to save his wife from her illness and the accident going wrong and like this good character backstory that's like really nice for Mister Freeze, and instead it was just like I got really cold one day and I just decided to roll with that. Like yeah, you can do that. It's just way less interesting. I don't feel like it was that bad, like of a change in backstory, but again, it wouldn't really bother me if they like 
change the backstory as long as the story was good but that brings us on to whether the story oh, also was another good. thing the, the quote you used jonathan about him being a loser on his planet uh wouldn't even be true mm -hmm. venom's a loser on earth because the way symbiotes work <laughs> is they like when they spawn the spawn is stronger and because venom was the first to arrive like all the spawn are stronger than him because he spawned all the symbiotes that are on earth in the comics so he's a loser on earth actually Hmm. Huh? I didn't even know that he was a loser on Earth. I mean, he's not also, like does necessary. Venom have like a consciousness? Yeah, so that, so comics? that's what I was talking about. Like, I know he's, he develops yeah. it. He right. develops so it the, later, the, but like when he starts, this is what I'm he saying. doesn't he gets have it. Right? The symbiote initially is is nothing. Like it's like it has it has low cognition. So in Secret Wars, they're taken to a planet called like Battle Game or whatever the fuck, and they tell them like, hey, you can come get this like intelligent costume that will like react to your needs. So, like, when Spider-Man gets it, he doesn't even know it's a living being initially until Reed Richards runs some tests. He just thinks it's, like, a suit that reacts to what he wants. And uh, it's unnamed at this point. It's not called Venom until Eddie Brock puts it on. Um, it's, it's like, learning from Peter. And, like, when Peter goes to sleep, it, it still it dresses him up and goes and fights crime because... That's what Peter wants, and because they're in a symbiotic relationship, it becomes what he wants. Um, and it sort of starts to develop a personality. And then in a confrontation, when Peter finds out, he like dings a church bell and gets it knocked off of him. And the symbiote starts to show like the first bit of its own personality, and he gets mad at Peter for abandoning it. And it falls on Eddie, who is mad at Peter for you know all the bugle stuff. And Eddie and Venom become a stronger bond of two beings because Venom has, you know, part of Peter's personality of wanting to fight crime and the anger at him and Eddie's anger. And they, they become Venom, which is named after, I think, the stories Eddie's writing about is like the shitty underbelly and he's like the, the Venom stories or something. So he calls himself Venom. It's a really lame name origin. Um, so yeah, it, its personality isn't just like old cloth bear initially. It it takes from Peter and Eddie to become a separate entity. I think though, if we're gonna bring up Mister Freeze, we need to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger's performance. Do we? We can. No, I'm just fucking with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, I I get that it's it's different and that you know the uh, like to my in my opinion though the the origin story of venom in the comics isn't necessarily like amazing either i feel like they just wanted to i like know, it create it's, it's spider-man yeah it's all right i mean but at the same time it, it doesn't bother me it's not like like when the new death note came out you know the live action one I wasn't that mad. I wasn't mad at like DMC, Devil May Cry. The the reason I like Venom is so often with anti heroes in comics, it's like somebody's evil, and then like one impassioned speech makes them like, yeah, all right, and then they're an anti hero now. With Venom, it's like it's ingrained in him, like he wants to eat people to uh, get whatever chemicals it is and to get stronger but because of the identity that he's sort of taken from peter and to some extent eddie because i think eddie also was like i want to stop the, the bad shit happening in town he it's in his nature as well to want to fight crime and so for me venom's an effective anti-villain because it's it's established in his character that he has the bad and the good he has to eat yeah he has to eat but he also he yeah. wants to be good I mean, in that way, he's technically unchanged in that. No, way, in this movie, like. there's no but... reason for him to not just rampage, especially because early in the movie he has. Well, he has to eat. Right, right, right. but in die, in this movie, there's so... no reason for him to not just like rampage and eat, because he has he has full control yeah, of the star. Yeah, that that was part of my issue is that um, it's not really an anti-hero movie. It's not even a villain movie. It's it's a straight hero movie. Yeah. 
Like it's, it, but again, I think again, if this movie were to come out in like 2008, when people were far more forgiving of like, well, maybe not 2008 because it's a year changes. after Spider-Man Three. <laughs> <laughs> in a vacuum 2008 i think even after spider-man 3 i think it would still be it would be very well received and i think spider-man is like the missing link between like joke like not joke comic book movies but like a completely different style of comic book movies to like the beginning of avengers comic book movies where they took on like a more serious role and venom feels like a marvel movie from like early avengers it doesn't feel like it should have been made now like it, it I, don't, I don't think it has that marvel sort of vibe to it which is actually kind of i think good it does have that marvel vibe yeah there's a lot really? of like huh serious action and then cut to humor for a second and then like i think a lot of superhero movies like that's kind of spider-man right that that is very much like i mean that's that's spider-man's whole deal even in comic runs like and it's it's sort of become the marvel practice now like everyone cracks jokes in marvel movies now like even captain america who like doesn't have a humor bone in his body yeah he's also the straight yeah man. that's that's how he should be and that's how he was in like uh in avengers one like tony's making jokes and like yeah, yeah. i know that reference yeah but i don't know I, I... It, it just didn't feel like a like it doesn't compete with like newer comic book movies made from obviously marvel etc but I didn't think it was. It, it kind of reminded me of uh, the Incredible Hulk that I actually like. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, right? That's the, the second one. Uh, Ed Norton or Eric? Bain? It wasn't like it was really. Uh, I think Norton. You like the Norton one? Isn't the Norton one the like technically sequel? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it, like that. That's a fine movie. It's it's not like it's. It's been a terrible. long time since I see that. I I don't think I liked the Norton one. I think I preferred the Banna one. The original. Oh, let me check their order. Yeah, the Eric Banna is the one that came first. I don't know, man. I will say, like, I don't even have an issue that they changed um, him to be a straight on hero. I just don't think that they explained really what his motives are because like they they gave him the motive to eat but then again he had full control and like didn't just fucking eat mm-hmm. everybody and his ability like all right his uh what's what's the word he's like changed to like i'm gonna actually save the planet from the other symbiotes yeah and yeah just he, like didn't make any sense he's like also i like you now and it's like why like yeah well, it's either to explain that attaching to his host or you have to explain something like they just didn't I felt like they wanted you to take bits and pieces or maybe they themselves just didn't understand Venom and they th- like they thought like oh yeah this is a Venom like it, it's especially do. bad that he's like oh I like you now cuz that happens fucking right after Eddie ditches him and leaves him to die like literally <laughs> all he had to do was like see him suffering behind the door and just open it and take him back and then you could have had that moment of like we're in this together you can't live without me whatever like they could have done something there and instead it's like abandons him leaves him to die venom gets out and he's like oh i like you now it's like oh, what yeah it's like <laughs> excuse me yeah i um, feel like at the very least they could have played on mm-hmm. the they could have played on like the link yeah or that's another thing being that's super right. strong that's yeah, where i the thought they were going thing and say, like have venom start out without his full-fledged personality and learn from eddie and then he's like you know you get this power from me and i get personality from you and i also want to protect these people and that also works and it's faithful to the fucking comics i actually think this storyline should have been venom 2 and they should have done venom uh some hey, do other you know way. why else it works as venom 2 better 
because mm. Riot is a spawn of Venom, and that's why he's stronger. Well, that I don't can... think that's necessarily important. I don't though. think. Yeah, I don't think that that's necessary. no. But they they like Just they clearly wanted Riot to be stronger, and the way Symbios work is they spawn and get stronger. Well, the, okay, I think you're very stuck on what you know via the yeah comments. because they didn't establish. But character. that doesn't mean that. But it doesn't mean it has to be that way. They established that Riot was stronger. That's good enough for me. If Spider-Man spit Venom, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I think they should do that. Like, if you're going to use a character, like, use the character. I don't, it, it doesn't necessarily super bother me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, even, I, even, I saying, even a franchise I love, like, I didn't... I didn't like Dragon Ball Evolution because they uh, made him a high schooler who was, like, bullied. I, I didn't like it because the story fucking sucked. <laughs> like, if, like, if they would have, like, yeah, we're just trying something new and, like, you openly admit, like, it's not faithful to the uh, original anything. Like, it, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I, I, like, I, 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 so I understand from, some changes, but, but like... Changing like the power set and personality of a character. I definitely. I know, it's agree been that done it before be... with Superman. Superman, they added. They didn't like change. I mean, uh, listen. I'm not a fan of Superman's run anyway. I think they they over they yeah, overloaded him. But now Superman is what he is. Like nobody's yeah. like, you know, Don't Superman's get... not rolling up in a bat costume and. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Venom is is just straight like ripping. I don't know. Actually, that's a lie. Venom is ripping off something. It's it's ripping off, in my opinion, it's ripping off Tokyo Ghoul and like Parasite, which are both animes. I don't know if you've seen, seen either Parasite. of them. Um, yeah, I, I felt like this movie was hard ripping off Parasite and Tokyo Ghoul. There's some Parasite vibes, yeah. When was Parasite released? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and Tokyo Ghoul was probably 2010. Paris, it's on Netflix, I think. You should watch it. It's good. I should. It's, it's fine. I also need to watch Tokyo Ghoul because that intro is enough to make me want to watch it. I mean, it's 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 good. Okay. Both of them have the issue, in my opinion, of like the main character is like, too good to where it's like annoying and like... Uh... Oh, in, in another one, it's ripping off, but not nearly to the same... Extent is a uh, Devil Man Cry Baby. I haven't watched that. <clears throat> Which I, I feel like, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it. I don't know. It, it to me, it's fine. It's a passable movie. I didn't like it. Like uh, Jonathan said, there were a lot of moments that I was like, it was like teetering on being boring, and then it had like a fun little action bit, and I was like, oh, this is okay. And then it would be like, eh. yeah. That's but I feel like a, a few things did make me chuckle. I did chuckle at when he was like, "He's got shit you've never seen." I, I don't know why, <laughs> but it was just such like a goofy ass thing for Venom to say. Yeah, he does say a lot of goof. I don't know. I, so I'm not like, I'm not wholly against the idea of changing characters, like particularly changing character personalities when it suits stuff. Um, but like. It's a very common thing in comics for uh, to have one or two characters that are either directly power opposed, like made in the same way, have the same power set, but evil, or like are supposed to be a mirror to the character. And them existing, like the mirror ones can exist on their own because Joker's kind of a mirror, or I guess not mirror, that's like the opposite of Batman. A yeah, foil. foil. So he can exist a on foil. his own. Yeah. But like if you have. Um, a good example. Not yellow jacket because it sucks. Uh, like Bizarro. Uh, like if they the made like Wolverine. a solo Bizarro movie, it would be just as weird. Would you say it'd be? It, w it would be very Bizarro. <laughs> like it, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> okay. Um, what about? In this case, I think it'd be less like Bizarro. It would be more like. Or a solo uh, reverse Flash movie. The. What what's the wolver like you know the Wolverine who's saber not tooth. Wolverine his brother the saber tooth 
Yeah, it'd be like Sabretooth. I can or... see a Venom movie existing without Spider-Man and working. I, I like I can I can see it happening. Like I can envision a movie where I'd be like, yeah, that was fine. That was good. Cuz like they I think they were trying to even foil Venom with Riot, which was, you know, you know, they tried. Bad though. They did it bad, but I don't think that this should dissuade you on the fact, like, it, I think it can be done. I think the mistakes were not that they, like, weren't faithful to the comics. And, again, like, I think it's better to be faithful to the comics if you're taking I would have rather, it. like, like, have... I wonder if they couldn't, because they, because they signed the deal with, uh... No, do you, do you know what you, you know, here? Do you know what I would have preferred? That's what I'm saying. Like they couldn't have Spider Man in it. They couldn't have Spider Man in it, so they couldn't be faithful. No, no. Here's like, here's literally two easy fixes they could have done. done. Right. Life Foundation yeah. ship is crashing. One of the symbiotes got out. We know that. However, in this movie, it's Riot, not Venom. Just make it Venom. Make it a period of time passes, and then Venom shows up. It's like the nod that he was with Spider Man. You never show Spider Man. You never say Spider Man you get what you need and then riot can be a spawn of venom and be stronger i don't think that that fixes any of the issues of this movie it fixes though. the characterization yeah. of venom at least it, it I, does it, it fixes it to the people who know venom the only sure. thing i feel like for for this movie tom hardy's performance was great got to say it that was all right i liked he's, it a he's, lot he's not doing anything wrong i'll say that yeah. He's he's not he's not the I, problem. He didn't blow me away, but yeah, I feel like it's almost entirely. A and I'm not really a fan issue. of Tom Hardy, to be honest. I think he's okay. I mean, some stuff he does I really like, and some stuff he does I I am not a fan of. What did you guys think about the villain? I wasn't super. No, who yeah, I wasn't into it. Well, I'm just saying, like his his acting in it, I was just kind of like he he like plays his sidekick character a like... lot. I think I don't know if this was his first like being the the lead guy, but he he sidekicks a lot. I thought he was gonna be like funny. I don't know, like the way so he's he was, in the like... Sonic movie. I think he was trying to be more menacing, but he just kind of wasn't. Yeah, yeah, no. I think what all I've seen in it. he's he's in Sonic as the sidekick to Robotnik. He's in Nightcrawler as. Uh... His assistant guy that might be all I've seen him in, honestly. I'm looking at what uh, because he does look familiar. He's in Rogue One as well. He was in Rogue One. Oh, he was the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was yeah. in Nightcrawler. Oh, he's, he's good. Like what the heck? Yeah, this movie didn't really do it for me though. No, there's just like a lot. Yeah, he did not. It, they should have cast someone who's legit scary, not someone who. I, don't, I, I know they that... were going. They were going for like, a, oh look, he's like a Silicon Valley. He's actually a nice guy, but like the the fact that uh, Venom or you know Tom Hardy basically immediately susses him out is not like basically makes the whole like nice guy act redundant. Yeah, and it makes his makes the villain's performance worse but also like i i feel like you can have a nice guy like you can have an actor who like looks nice and can play nice but then who can also play a sadistic mean, yeah. fuck like which is like no, i'm not even talking the... about like mean or evil like i'm just talking about like scary or just like you can tell that they have no care for anybody else like that was lacking for me like he seemed way too empathetic yeah, like while he was like killing people he was like this is for the good of humanity. And it was like, like Brian Cranston, right? In Breaking Bad. Like yeah, he literally yeah. is like, oh, he's sweet, like older guy. And then he's just like, ah! and you're like, oh, fuck. Like you're like, holy in that, in his performance. And then yeah. here, I feel like he just is kind of like, it's all for the greater good. Yeah. And it's just the too greater earnest. good. Like, it would um, maybe it would have been interesting if they had like drawn attention to how earnest he was and it was like he truly believed and it was just like tragic and he just never saw it. Yeah, but it didn't never go down that route. Yeah, no. It almost felt like he was just like the mad scientist in uh Invincible where he's like, Humans aren't perfect. I'm gonna make them perfect. 
but then he never went that evil yeah so i he the maybe it was the way it was written like maybe he was directed that way yeah i think the writing yeah. is almost entirely the the uh the fault of this movie yeah definitely Old stars <laughs> i mean it it had i think a perfectly fine budget i didn't like see the cg and think like i i didn't like particularly think it looked realistic but i didn't look at it and go like what the fuck um i thought the design of uh of venom was nice it was a little different than what we've seen before but i prefer the look of this venom i think i thought yeah i thought it was good i thought it was weird that he never used his claws like he was very stretchy in this movie, where I feel like regularly yeah. Venom is more of like a powerhouse than like. Yeah, he's like a giant man. dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. One power I didn't like was like, them like, turning to metal and shooting things out of them, like didn't make sense to me at all. Yeah. And also like a. Turning to metal yeah, like Venom like hardens spikes on his back that are like metal and shoots them out. Riot creates, like, a metal fucking sword and stabs Eddie with it and leaves it there. And, like, again, this is a, a comic difference thing. Every time they shot something out or left something there, I'm like, are they just creating so many fucking symbiotes right now? Because that's how they spawn. They just, like, leave a piece of them, which then grows into a hmm. symbiote. I don't mind them making... Because, like, when you think about him making claws, it's similar to just making a blade. That was fine. But when you talk about breaking it off, yeah, no, that is, like, strange. It didn't bother me when I was watching it, but now that you mention it, that is just kind of like... He did... That's like you breaking off your finger and, like, throwing it at a guy. Like, it was just... That's <laughs> know, funny. That was weird. I like it, but, you know, not... I don't know. It was just like, I was like, the next movie's gonna have 8,000 symbiotes from just I and Carnage shitting stuff out all over the city. Well, that's clearly not how it works. No, it is, though, because we're getting a fucking Carnage movie. You don't know what that... I no, bet the you trailer Carnage showed... is gonna come no, from the No, the trailer planet. showed him biting Eddie. I haven't seen the trailer. Don't don't tell me a trailer if, if you're gonna watch this movie. The trailer showed what? That's in a vacuum. That's its own separate thing. In my opinion. He bit him. Which also, like, doesn't make sense. He bit him? What are you talking about? Uh, Cletus Cassidy bit Eddie. With his teeth. He did a bite. He mean? bit him. He how bit him that, right in the how face. Does that, how does that prove that he didn't come from space? Because he, he bit him and he's going to absorb the... He's going to get some of the symbiote and he's going to become carnage. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Like he bit his yes, actual he bit person? His what did you think I meant? <laughs> I said, I said I he, he bit him. Carnage. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you meant like the guy, but already no, as Carnage. No, the bit guy him. as like, a guy. Okay, all right, I got you. <laughs> I was just imagining Carnage like biting him. Which like also, that. Like, yeah. I was like, what does that mean? Doesn't really make sense, unless like. Unless the symbiote can be absorbed through the stomach lining, because that wouldn't get in his bloodstream. That also doesn't make sense. Wait, does the symbiote have to be? No, in that's the how Carnage is. Carnage is like a a blood yes. symbiote because he fuses with Cletus Cassidy's blood, and that's why he's all red and goo. That's Carnage's okay. whole deal. It also it also doesn't make sense because that just means like anybody who wants to be a symbiote can just yeah nom doesn't me. make sense. <laughs> You know what makes sense is the symbiotes being, you know, asexual and reproducing and creating more symbiotes that then bond with people. They should have gone with that. I think you're blinded by your love of spider. You cannot deny that that makes more sense than he did a bite. It makes more sense, but it doesn't mean that it's like the no, only it's not way the only they way could have done it. But it works a lot better than doing a monch and becoming a symbiote. <laughs> And also, like, if you're a creature that, like, just in the context of the movie, if you're a creature that, like, seems to need to feed to grow and, like, maintain your strength and stuff, why would you be leaving pieces of yourself behind? That seems so irresponsible. Less energy? Less energy to No, use. you would be making yourself weak. Yeah, that does kind of make sense. There are quite a few, uh... No, you leave pieces of yourself behind if you're trapped or injured, but you don't just... Lizards aren't just popping off their tails for fun. 
They're not lizards. These are symbiotes. Come on, be reasonable. <laughs> be reasonable. They're not even like. Okay, animals, what what basically. animals in the wild just pop shit off for fun? I mean, maybe not like animals per se, but again, like moss and shit will do that. Uh, fungi, fungi love to do that shit. Oh, when budding, they bud and propagate their species that, and like the create another one of themselves. Not just bud. Yeah, why else do they do it? You know, it's. Shroom. What? That's <laughs> that doesn't mean he's, he's talking about. What? He's talking That's about specifically drug. for. But... You can't have it both ways. Oh, you either sense. need to accept that it should have been them budding, or you need to accept that it's stupid for them to leave stuff behind. No, I, I don't. I don't think it's it's bothersome. It's like a tree. Like if you have a plant that has like a dead leaf, you cut that leaf off. Well, the tree doesn't I don't cut the leaf I think off. that. It... But Brendan, Brendan, if you think if, about it, if, all if of the time could, they, they budded, all the times that they like left something was during a fight, so you could kind of think of it like a lizard, rather than like a defense mechanism. It's like an offensive mechanism of like you're defending, kind of like uh, antlers falling off while like fighting for mates. Yeah, but like, but the symbiote. Well, what I'm saying is the symbiote should. could like reabsorb it. Yeah, but if you can't, you can't. If it's too dangerous to. They were oh, always on the road. Not when Eddie fucked up those police officers with all those back spikes. He just or not police officers, the Brendan, hitmen. you shed like ten pounds of skin. Yes, but I cannot reabsorb my skin. You can. You could eat your skin. There's nothing stopping you. I mean most of the skin that falls off is too small, so I don't I couldn't. There's quite a bit of social constraint <laughs> stopping him. But from also like the, it's not like <laughs> that's you, it. you don't like slough God. off our skin like in sheets like you know it's it's little tiny pieces i mean oh, you, you can, can you can but it's little lie. tiny pieces it's not like <laughs> i mean it literally comes off in a perfect sheet if you have like a really I bad don't sunburn i have a really bad sunburn i don't go outside <laughs> it's this it's the body's defense mechanism my point is the symbiote <laughs> could reabsorb and it seems like a waste of resources to not <laughs> For for I mean, for yeah. a species that is yeah. like fighting for its survival, but that's the same thing for humans. Like dying on this planet, it's a waste. Of, we're we're just giving our skin to okay. dust mites. Here, here, let's let's Which relate sucks. it to humans. If I went to Mars, I wouldn't just open my oxygen valve and then close it again. Yeah, but that's considering food. That would be like if I didn't eat a whole human, which they did do in this movie. But that's not the point you brought up. Well, I mean, it takes energy to regrow the yeah. stuff that they're expending. But again, I can I can see it being whatever. It's like, hey, maybe they can't reabsorb it in this universe once it hardens, which actually isn't true because he turns it into yeah, a scythe. Yeah, they, they've shown that they can do it. <laughs> Either way, it 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 doesn't really bother. I'm not me. no, I'm not saying it's like a plot is... hole or anything. I'm just saying like for a species that is like fighting for its survival and dying, it seems like a weird choice to make. Especially because like Riot makes a big yeah. sword. <laughs> to... It's a nice it's like, sword. That's yeah. sizable. I give it, I give it like a nine out of ten on the sword. It's scale. not a Sephiroth sword, but he's definitely but trying. I mean, it is. It's probably bigger than a Sephiroth sword, but it's just Riot's bigger. Uh, oh, for sure. you, well, I'm talking proportionally. Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty big guy. <laughs> Which I thought Tom Hardy's party's performance in um uh, Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy, the voice bothers me so much in that. <laughs> I thought. Yeah, I think his performance as yeah. Bane is terrible. So I, I would prefer the performance of Venom. I don't, I don't feel like I've seen that many Tom Hardy movies. To be honest. Uh, have you? Like seen... He's in Inception, but he's not really doing anything. Fury I haven't seen Road. Fury Road. No. Really? Never did. It's a good movie. I really liked Fury Road. I haven't seen Dunkirk. I don't like his Bane. But uh. He's a nothing no, character like in Inception. I like he doesn't. What do you mean you like him? He He's doesn't a do something anything. character in Inception. Anyway, here's the deal, right? I'm ready to give a rating because I don't have much more to talk about. And we're just going to have a cyclical argument for like hours. We weren't even, about wait, we weren't even being Inception. cyclical. Well, we oh, just we kind of were. What? I could just see it going that way. Well, talking about Venom? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I was we were enjoying being super cool. what we were saying. We got off the Spider-Man thing, and I was just talking about from a logical perspective of like a, a simple creature that can absorb things. I mean, there's a lot here, lo- like logically doesn't. I mean, yeah, that's sense. also true. Oh, do you, <laughs> speaking of illogical things, this is one thing they did decide to take from the comics. That, um, at the end of the movie. Uh, when they go to the bodega and they're like, what do you want to get? And Venom says chocolate. That's because in the comics, like, it, it, Venom also, like, eats people to absorb stuff. And they were like, oh, chocolate has the same one of the chemicals. Brain and Venom just eats a lot of chocolate for a while. And not eat people. Yeah. Hmm. Is that true? Does chocolate actually uh, have the chemical that's in our brain? I'm I'm oh, sure it really. actually has a chemical. Like there's one. <laughs> it's probably also in a human brain, at least one of those chemicals. We did it, guys. We're part chocolate brain. Methylamine. Uh, but I'm yes, I'm pretty sure that's chocolate. probably also in like that's probably also like in a I don't know, an octopus. Yeah, it's it's probably in lots of things. Or something. But yeah. they just yeah, they went with chocolate. But importantly, it's in chocolate. I made a bunch of chocolate. Yeah. I did think if, if they were going to go with the whole, like, this isn't live, they should have went, like, nope, the only thing. Like, they should have went, like, full, not even, what, what, what would be the right word? Like, lore-ish, like, non, non-sci-fi, and been, like, for whatever reason, Venom will only eat live things. Which well, is what I thought what they, they were going with. Chocolate. Yeah, but the well, okay. It's not that he only eats live things. He needs the living things to have the chemical. But chocolate has the chemical. Uh, does he only need yes, one chemical? Yeah. At least in the comics, it was chemical. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, they kind of did that in the movie. Oh. Like he picks up the steak and he's like, "This is dead." Yeah, yeah, I know. But like, then they didn't follow through with it because you see him eat other stuff. No, you don't. He just, he watches all. Well, that I think stuff. he also has to. He has to keep yeah, at that point, so that's the same scene though, and then like they don't. The, the scene is not. We never seen anything else though with him eating other stuff. Well, he uh, eats, uh, eats the, the poultry, and then he eats no, well, the before. chicken tendies from the fridge. But, yeah, the Totino pizza. But that's before. Rolls. Oh, those are pizza rolls. It was tater tots, was Oh my! It was tater tots. Could have been any of those. Tots. One of those. But that's but that's all before, and that's not Venom eating it. That's Tom Hardy because. He Hungry. Well, yeah, Venom yeah, was in him. Venom's not in control at the moment. Tom Hardy's like, I'm hungry. Here's my human food. So you're saying Tom Hardy is in 100% control when he eats frozen tater tots and garbage he's, he's chicken. Still, he's still mostly he in control. 100% yeah. in control. I 100% think in control. That's, that was his first time. Uh, did you see him? He's a garbage person. they just made him person. eat a fuck ton of food. Like, imagine if they just made him eat, like, a shit ton of food, and they were like, humans have more caloric density. Well, then that could be just wrong. Yeah, but he's venom, and can't, like, maybe it's not fully controllable. But anyway. It'd be like there was a There was a comment on uh, the Reddit thread for the Let There Be Carnage trailer that said, no actor knows how to look like shit better than Tom Hardy. <laughs> Does it a lot? Like, just looks like a heroin addict. Yeah, just like, just general, looking like shit. Yeah. So then do we want to do me. ratings? Uh, yeah, we can do ratings. But I, I have to say, <clears throat> when, just, just really quick, when Venom pops out and like looks at him and uses his arm to look, I was like, that's straight from fucking Parasite. Yeah, I don't remember well enough if Venom ever does anything like that in the comics. It did have some Parasite vibes, though. But anyway. Ratings. Who would would like like to go first? Very well. I'm between a 5 and a 6. Between doesn't help us. You're going to need to pick one. Let's see... Like, I I don't feel like I could watch this again. But at the same time, I didn't feel like this movie 
made me feel bad. I don't know. I'll, I'll give it a six. Uh, this is a five. Five for me. Yeah, I think I'm a six as well. Like, it was fine. Oh. Didn't hate it. I thought you would have given a much lower score. No, I, so I take I. issues with you. Give you I, have I, a I lot take of issues with the Venom character, you... but the rest of the movie is like functional. It's not good. It is functional. Yeah, but you give a lot of you give a lot of like average stuff really, really low scores like what? usually. I don't, I have to pull up the receipts. Yeah, <laughs> you can pull up the receipts <laughs> because the the things I give low scores are things I do not think are average. I guess I misunderstood. Well, everyone, everyone has yeah. a different. You I know, think this perception. movie's pretty yeah. average. Average. I thought ten. It was pretty average. Gave that a four. I thought ten. It I was ten extremely average. Below That's average. why I gave it a five. Give it less than average. Lost in translation was like. But I did, I did say that was the movie that I should have given a look. Yeah, War me dogs, too. War Dogs was War Dogs was average. average. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't think it did anything wrong. It's just there's a movie that did exactly It was trying to that, be a different movie better. and also just wasn't very good. It was also a little bad. We but... gave War Dogs the same score, so I how guess, are you yeah. saying War Dogs is average? Yeah, you I gave know. it a three. You can't say it's average and give it a three. It was bad, but it was like you could also think like, it's average because you gave there's it a the tilt. Like if you don't like that type of movie and you think it's like an average one of I those movies, I don't think movies. it's an average one of those. Movies. I think War Dogs was not good. The others guys was pretty average. That's like I think two. the other guys is bad. I I think the other guys suck shit. We went over this. <laughs> what else did you give it? What else did you give a six? Um, is yeah, this your first I don't six? Give it a lot six. Huh. All right. How many sixes have I given? Like I'm trying to look at this. Pirates of Silicon Valley was average with. You give War Dogs a six. Yeah, That's the only know. other six you've given actually. Jonathan's our six boy. Look here. Here's the docs. I'm oh, I am. Yeah, look at me. Hardcore Loves into the sixes. Look at that. <laughs> well, so this is what, what is this? A five point six 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 six. Yeah, I, I liked this movie better than Lego Movie. But less than Princess Mononoke. That's where we are. Or about time. No, Mononoke was in it. But also, yes, less than Mononoke because it was fire. Oh, shit, it is my pick. Yeah, it'll be your pick. I feel like don't have Jonathan anything. gets to pick. Wait, no, Jonathan you already picked your movie. movies. We already went like. over this. <laughs> you picked Loki. Oh, I did, didn't I? Okay, I've, I've watched it. I don't want to talk yeah. about what I'm thinking my pick might be, even though it's two weeks <clears> out. Well, next week is Loki, the TV series. Oh, yeah. Which I haven't watched. I'll watch it this week. I've mostly watched it. I have to watch the last episode. Um, Anybody got anything else they want to say? Are we doing the other episode this today, or are we, are we waiting? I'm fine with it today. I don't know if I can. Okay. Then I suppose not. Uh, that's all I have. Unless you guys have a, a thing. No, I have no I'm going to watch Let There Be Carnage, but I don't have high. Do you think it's going to be better or worse than this one? Ooh, probably worth. I, I think it'll. I think. Hmm. I think it'll be better. Yeah, actually, you know, you know what? I be think better. it'll be better too. I was gonna say I think it'll be worse because I like Carnage better than Venom, but actually, I think they'll be more faithful to Carnage than. Oh, here's a, you've here's... lost here's... that battle. I don't think it's gonna be faithful at all. I just think it's right, gonna and be and he, he, really oh, wait, quickly. Actually, here's something else. I might need to. Here's why that. I think it's higher. What What's the rating on Let There Be Carnage? There isn't one you know, pick, right? There might be review ratings. No, no, no. I mean the like paid for rating. The uh, what, whatever it's called, PG thirteen R, that that rating. It better be R. I think if it's, it's not R. rated R, it's gonna suck shit. I can I can agree with that. It's like uh, the RoboCop. If you do a Carnage movie. movie without it being rated R, that's wild. I'll look it up. Cletus Cassidy is a cannibalistic serial killer before he gets Carnage. 
looking at just the images, I mean, how can you make this PG-13 yet? It's probably going to be and, and like, here's the thing. I know sad. Sony is like, oh, I don't really want to make an <laughs> arm. But it's like Deadpool already proved that it could be done as well as other Yeah, movies. and if your character is a cannibalistic it's serial comedy. killer. They did eat people's they heads, show though, in this one. That's that's like the line between PG thirteen and R is like, is there blood? And Carnage is made of blood. He's a blood boy. I don't know though. the The weird thing is too that like rated R in the states, like it it basically just means there's like no or not being rated R means no sex and no blood. Out. You you like so you much stuff gets away blood, with like. We'll see. I don't know. I, I think if it's PG-13, I'll be very... In the words of a someone much wiser than I, you know, there's no sex in your violence, then it's okay. All right. Well, that's it for this week. I think it'll, I think it'll be PG-13. Yeah, then, it'll, then I'll hate it more than this movie. Very well. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for listening. Uh, we are not doing the video game episode yet, but maybe next week we'll start that. And uh, we'll have to play that game. Loki game. season one. Thanks for listening. Ah, yeah.